Hi everyone, it's Jintang Mayumi. I have a couple of treat boxes in Halloween lunch notes for you today using the Stampendos Costume Stock Stamp Set. I pull out my scraps of 90 pound Stratmore watercolor paper. I will use it for my images today. I use Versafine Onyx Black ink and stamp my images twice on the paper. I also use my Memento black marker to connect the lines on the images or go over the lines that didn't stamp good. After I'm done with the stamping, I'm going to pour some clear embossing powder on all of the images. You can stamp all of them first and then pour the clear embossing after but I think I was doing something else that time and I don't want the ink to dry. But Versafine Onyx Black ink dries slow so it won't dry right away. After I'm done with the stamping, I will melt all the powder with my heat tool. I use my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers to color the images and just followed the colors of the images on the packaging. I love it when the images on the stamp packaging has already colors on them and that means that you don't have to think what color to use and it will save you some time. As always, I will leave you some music here and I will be back when the coloring is done. And here are all my colored images ready to go. I didn't show it on the screen, but I did use my memento block marker on the edges of all of my colored images to look seamless. And no white edges are showing. My 3x3 card base are from a pack of 80 pound Nina Astrobite texture cardstock. I cut my paper to 6.5 inches and scored it in half. I also used pattern paper from Recollections Halloween paper pad that I got from Michaels a couple of years ago. I die cut my pattern paper using my stitch rectangle die. And I'm going to adhere the pattern papers on my 3x3 card bases using ATG gun. Adhering them all didn't take a long time. I'm just finishing these two cards here and we'll go to the next step. And it looks like I ran out of ATG tape there. So for the colored images, I just um, placed them in the middle where the pattern paper is and I use um, foam tape to adhere them on the card. For the inside of the cards, I will adhere the colored brooms and pumpkin buckets in the corner of the card using glossy accents. I will use these lunch notes to put it in my son's lunchbox 
I didn't add any sentiment on the cards because I will just write a note inside. For the treat boxes, I used this paper from DCWV Spooky Delight 12 by 12 paper pad. I will use two patterns from the paper pad. I will also use this cable box die to die cut my paper. I have die cut all my paper and I will fold all the crease on the die cut boxes using my Teflon bone folder before I assemble them. I use a strong double-sided tape on the flaps that needs to have the tape. I connect the two die cut pieces together making sure it's adhered well together. I fold the box and connect to the other side. Before I close the bottom of the box, I will adhere my paper that I die cut with stitch circle die and add my image on top of it using foam tape and a little bit of glue and then I will adhere it on top of the circle die cut. And now it's time to adhere the bottom of the box together. I use my bone folder again to varnish the inside of the box and making sure it well ad it's adhered together well. I also use this pumpkin washi tape that I have in my stash to add a little something on the bottom of the box. I will stuff my treat boxes with Jelly Belly Halloween candy. These treat boxes has a lot of room inside. I can probably add two more in the box, but I only have three candy per box because my kids already been eating them. <laughs> and lastly, I added two of the colored pumpkin buckets on top of the boxes. And my treat boxes and 3x3 Halloween cards are finished. I had fun making them and all the colored images are so cute. As always, thank you so much for always watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. I hope you like today's treat boxes and cards and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye. I have two more videos for you on the side of the screen.